Welcome to another writing week. Good afternoon. It's Monday, December 2nd. Yes, the afternoon. I didn't get to check in this morning at all because I was a little behind running a little late after the holiday weekend. I was a bit lazy. I am working on editing this week. So this week is mostly for my ghostwriting. This is my last deadline with them for a little while. I am starting fresh in 2020 with a little bit of a different schedule. I have about 5,600 words to meet my deadline and I have sort of separated that with the amount of chapters. So I have about 200 words to add per chapter during this self-edit. I worked on three chapters this morning and my goal for today is 10 chapters. It's so dreary outside and it was snowing this morning that everything in the afternoon was canceled. So the time that I would have had working on my project when kiddo was at an activity, I don't have. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to steal about 45 minutes of that time this afternoon. I may put on the iPad or some Disney Plus to get some work done as I wanted to. If not, it's gonna get pushed to the end of the day. I ended last week on sort of a dreary note, burnout, things like that. I'm feeling okay today. This is the home stretch, but I still have about a week and a half worth of hard work to get to the end game here. I am excited to start reading books. I have a ton of stuff to do around the house. I have holiday cards that I'm sending. I have laundry to do. So I have a list of household things I need to do while I'm home. And then hopefully I'll squeeze in some time for writing. So it's about that time of day where I would have my kiddos activity and I'm going to try to write for 45 minutes. I did want to actually talk about what I'm doing because I say self-edit, but that is different to a lot of people. Basically, I'm using the read aloud feature in Word and also the Grammarly plugin. So I'm sort of able to hear the book. So that's a different format for me to catch a lot of little errors while I'm also fixing my grammar along the way. It just sort of kills two birds with one stone while I'm going through since I have a shorter amount of time to do this. The first four chapters were already reviewed by the editor, so I'm just sort of going through her notes as well and using them as I progress through the story. I didn't do these edits early on. It was more of to make sure we're on the same page with the beginning of the story, and, and I never really look at them until I'm done with the book because I don't want to fix it all and then something changes later on in the story and then I have to go back and fix it again. So I was able to reacclimate myself to the story and I'm jumping in pretty well now. I have a little post-it here with all the pluses that I've been adding to the story because I want to make sure I'm on target for about 200 words a chapter. Some of the chapters I have less some I have more, but I want to make sure I get all of these words in so I can hit my word count deadline. Let's jump in. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, December 3rd. I believe the last time I checked in, I was working on a chapter. I did only get one chapter done because life got in the way. I feel like in the afternoons now, it's just like a whirlwind of like getting ready for dinner and bed and everything. And then I just worked after that and I didn't really feel like checking in. I completed my goal for the day, which was 10 chapters. This morning kiddo has a delay, so I was able to work a little later and now I'm just cleaning up my house, um, my normal morning cleanup. So I'm about halfway done with my milestone for today, which is another 10 chapters. And I think I'm going to work on one or two of them right now and then save the rest for today. So I've been hitting all of my chapter goals within my 10 chapters. I have been consistently getting about 200 words extra. I always worry at this point in the game that I'm not gonna reach my deadline. I'm gonna have like a lower deadline. I think at this point, I only need less than 3000 words left and I have 15 more chapters to go for the whole book. So I think I will be able to do that, hopefully. So I'm going to get started on those last couple chapters before I have to bring kiddo to school and then go to work and then do all the busy stuff again. So hopefully I'll check in soon. I think I was wearing this before, but I'm not sure. So anyway, it's around 4.30 right now and I'm settling down to do at the minimum one chapter. If kiddo can stay busy for just a little bit, I wanna get back into it. So before I finished up to chapter 17, which is way more than I intended 
for the morning, which was great. So I guess the delay sort of worked in my favor, but I have three more to do for the rest of the day and doing one now leaves only two for tonight. And I know I can get through them quickly. So today is a good, good day. I'm very happy. I also am so excited in the mail today. My One of my only Black Friday purchases this year are two pop sockets for my phone. They are wrapped up for Christmas and I'm so excited to have them. My other one broke and I saw the email come in and it was sort of like fate. So I'm so happy to have it back. I didn't realize how much I needed my pop socket because I couldn't watch any YouTube videos on my phone without it being flat such first world problems. So anyway, I'm gonna get back to it. So it seems like it's super late, but it's only about 7.30 now and I just finished my chapters for the day. <sighs> I'm so excited that I was able to do it early and that I'm able to take a break. My wrists today are out of control with pain. I'm going to ice them for the rest of the night because I still need to keep working tomorrow and through the next week or so. I hope tomorrow goes off the same way without a hitch and I'll see you then. Well, good evening. It's Wednesday, December 4th and I just finished my final project for my ghostwriting client. I worked all day today. This morning I got about four chapters done out of the 10 and I managed to work a little bit this afternoon and this evening to finish. So I did my self edit, which meant I went through the whole book to make sure everything made sense. And I like to do that in a short amount of time so that I'm able to just stay on the story. I feel like when I do it in a longer amount of time, like say over a couple weeks, I sort of lose some of the details. So I was able to do it in three days, which is great. And I'm about to press send. Ah, it feels really good. Um, for the last month and a half. I've been insanely busy with work with my ghostwriting and my nano project and this is probably the last ghostwriting project I'm going to do for a while because as you know if you watch my writing vlogs my life is a bit different now. I am back to work full time and it's very hard. Ghostwriting for me has been my full-time job for several years now and now that I'm back to work it just doesn't fit within my life anymore but I'm never closing that door I'm always going to leave it open and I'm going to go send it off now and relax for a little bit probably watch some YouTube tonight because it is past nine o'clock now and I don't have time for a Hallmark movie because I know if I start one that I will not want to finish it. So I will check in with you tomorrow. Good afternoon. It's Wednesday, December 5th, and I'm feeling really good. I sent off my last ghostwriting project last night, and this morning I woke up to figuring out how to compile my nano project into Word. It took a long time. I always have issues compiling, and I always have to go on some crazy internet search to find out how to do it. I figured it out and I worked on about three chapters this morning. So I had originally sent the three chapters to my editor. So I sort of went through her notes. And once I did that, that was all I really had time for this morning. So I'm going to eat some lunch and jump back in. I saw that this morning there's a big author tube collab. I'm going to try to watch a few of them while I'm eating and see what it's all about. I'm really excited. I watched some of Natalia Lee's this morning and I'm just gonna go down the list and see who's next. I always love these collabs and experiencing them with other authors. So that's all for now and I'll check in soon. Good afternoon, happy Friday. It's Friday, December 6th. And this is another week that I can't really remember where I've updated or if I've updated. I don't think I updated at the end of the day yesterday. So a quick recap, I worked on the first five chapters of my nano project, and since it's not nano anymore, I guess it's just my contracted project now, my summer women's fiction novel. I worked on the first five chapters and they went by pretty quickly. Um, today I've been working on chapter six through 10. I'm currently on chapter nine. I have a little bit of time right now and I'm trying to get through it because I want to be done for the day. Unlike my ghostwriting project, I 
am doing a few chapters at a time, five a day, um, because I don't want to feel that burnout again, especially with this book. I am starting to slow down a little bit, which is great. I definitely need it. At night, I have not been working. I've been reading, I've been watching TV, and I've been relaxing, and it's exactly what I need so that I don't get too close to that burnout again. These first chapters, I think I didn't start skipping things until maybe midway through the book. So these first few days of this project are going to be quite easy. And then as we get toward the later end, I'm going to be writing a lot more. So that's probably leaning towards Sunday or Monday. I'm going to be writing. The last two chapters are not even written. So with my goal of about 3,000 words a chapter, I'm going to be adding at least 6,000 words to this book. I'm hoping for more, but I'm also giving myself a little bit of grace. I'm going to save the word count for when I do my revisions. I looked back and wrapped up for Christmas, gained about 7,000 words during revision, and I'm assuming that this one is going to gain at the very least that, if not more. I'm aiming for between 75 and 85,000 words, which is quite a big jump, but I would like to get somewhere in between to be comfortable. So that's it for now. I'm gonna jump back into it so I can relax tonight. I probably won't check in if, if we're going based on my record for the week. So I'll see you tomorrow. It's Saturday, Saturday, December 7th, and I look like crap, but that's okay. I feel all right. And I got my awesome fa la 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 llama mug. I'm ready to jump in my writing session. This morning so far, I did some editing on my writing blog, this writing blog, and I gave myself one hour and that hour is up, so now I'm going to get writing. I was able to finish my five chapters yesterday for my summer women's fiction novel, which actually does now have a title, but I cannot tell it to you yet. I know, I'm a bummer, right? So I'm gonna start with my five chapters for today. I'm sort of creeping in some areas where I just sort of left during my fast draft. I was like, oh, I'm gonna end it here, but it, they weren't resolved, so I've been having to fill in the gaps a little bit. But that's okay, I'm still loving the story. Um, usually the middle is when I start to hate my story, so we'll see. Happy Sunday, good afternoon. This is the writing vlog of afternoons, apparently, because I can't get my stuff together. So this morning I killed it with my writing goal. I intended to fix five chapters for my contracted project, and I did it all before 9 a.m. I feel so accomplished. I hope the rest of my week goes the same way. I went to see Frozen 2 this afternoon with kiddo and it was so fun and it was so nice to just sort of sit and relax and not have to worry about my deadline. So I am going to wrap this up here. If you enjoy my writing vlogs, do give this video a like, hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it so you know the next time I post a video and I'll see you next week.